shit. Where did you get this? From oh, we hacked this thing called uh, Zombie Game Studios. Look at this IP address. This routes to the Navy, my guy. What are you doing? The U.S. Navy. As cool as it is, as you try to pivot it as like a badass thing, I mean, no employers are going to look at you and really be like, all right, good yeah. job. You're hired because you broke into Microsoft. Okay, so what did you do? I, What'd you do with all that? I mean, I had to just take that inside, right? Like, how do you take something that bad and really work on it? Uh, welcome to the Failure Podcast. My name's Austin. This My is name's Armani. Armani. Dalton. Dominic. Dominic. There we go. Lots of D's. And A's. Yes. Oh, okay. That <laughs> yeah, well, weird. Weird. <laughs> anyway, please do me a favor, you guys. What's up? Because I don't know. I don't know. Which one do you want me to fucking look at? <laughs> anyway, guys. It's the failure it's podcast. The we, we have to fail. We, I'm going <laughs> to. Yes. Just at the beginning. Just, you just got to yeah, fail a couple times. We just have to do it like four times and we'll get it. Please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I know there's a lot of you guys that watch this. Just hit the button for me right now. Just take a Please. quick pause. You come right Do back. It. Greatly appreciate it. Slam. Slam it. Bing. Um, I'm also going to apologize because, one, my voice is in the shitter. Uh, I've been talking a lot. Sounds fine. Right? It's uh, some, Something's going in and out of me. I don't know what it is. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Careful. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Armani, you have, a, you have a wild story, man. Yeah. You can and, say that. Uh, you know, I'm I, I purposely did not suck too much out of you because I'm really intrigued to hear about how the how how did you get uh, uh well one you're a cyber felon at eighteen <laughs> or sixteen <laughs> yeah, what, what year uh, at eighteen technically okay, I was so an adult. technically you were an adult but you were a cyber felon yes um long I just need to preface this he turned it around yeah okay it was turned around obviously or I would be in handcuffs right <laughs> you now. know we're just not talking <laughs> to him because you were a felon man yeah. But, you I'm not really on the uh, run, by the way. I'm not running away, okay, so I'm cool. here. Yeah, Carter, don't call the cops yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Give it at least like an hour. <laughs> yeah, by the end of the hour. So why don't we start off? Why don't you just uh, give the guests a little bit of a background? On sure. One, I got to know how this happened. So what what happened that you became a cyber felon from? Yeah. At, at that young of an age, for one. Um, I mean, some kids are like you know. There was always that kid growing up that, you know, that was like in the grocery store that would like steal some candy or something. You know, everybody knew that guy. I wasn't that guy. I was never that guy that was shoplifting or doing any of that stuff. For sure. Yeah. I, I for some reason, was that guy that was obsessed with Halo okay. and obsessed with Call of Duty. Me too, bro. It's okay. Right? Yeah. But maybe to a different level. I don't know. I, I kind of just got super uh, like I deep dove into everything, how the game works. And just wanted to know everything. Just so way beyond past, like super jumps. Way yes. beyond oh, on lockout. But it starts there. Gosh. Far beyond. It, 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 far, far beyond. beyond. Yeah. It starts jumps. there, though, right? So, like, I, I'm a kid. I love glitches. Right. You know, it always starts with that whole, you know, you start to learn glitches. And then you start to learn hacks. Okay. And exploits are a thing, right? What's an exploit? Right? Maybe. What's an exploit? So somebody can basically do something in a game that's not supposed to be done that causes an effect. Basically, okay, that's an exploit. Got it. So an exploit like can a ripple be effect through the game, kind of thing. Yeah. So okay. an ex an exploit could be anything. Technically, an exploit could be in your computer. It could be in your phone. Or it could be in your game. Right? right. It could be an exploit to the algorithm and Instagram to get more videos. You know, literally anything. It's a pretty literal term. Sure. So, uh, growing up, I just uh, as soon as I figured out kind of what game hacking was, I kind of like wanted to know everything there was about game hacking, not even in like a malicious sense or even a financial sense, but just had a pure curiosity sense. For sure. So I I'd, I'd came across this guy basically when I was very, very young in like middle school. Where are you going with this? Is sound, you came across this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. We're the red poncho. Did he have candy? <laughs> Did he have candy? <laughs> in middle school. It's like I didn't steal the candy. The no. guy gave me the candy. <laughs> Okay, you came across this guy. Yeah, it was in Halo 2, as weird as this was. <laughs> as weird as this was. He had a video game, right? 
In a video game. And okay. online video gaming is very new, right? Like yeah. This Halo point. 2 like is out, like multiplayer. No doubt. Like, that type of that's, that's very you're, new. You're like fucking sitting in the, in, in the, I don't know, the load screen to like party with people. It goes from eight and then drops back down to one. Yep. And then goes back mm-hmm. up to like 12 exactly. and then drops back to like, <laughs> Somebody just says something racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just go so for it. In the seventh grade, you're just, just whoa. whoa. <laughs> the hard R. Grandma's in the other room. <laughs> Mind blowing, right? Okay, so uh, Halo 2 days, got yep. it. Yep, so I'm in Halo 2, right? I'm just playing this game, mm-hmm. and I end up getting into this game, and I see this guy flying a car. It's like in Halo, there's a, a car called a Warthog. Yep. And so this guy's flying it, and I'm like, how is this guy flying this car? That doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. And then he flies around, and he asks me to get in the car. <laughs> and he gives me a whole tour around the map as we're just seeing everything in the game. And I'm just a kid that's mind blown. Like I've dedicated my whole life towards glitches. I've never really heard about video game hacks right. or anything. And this guy just gives me a tour of everything. Pretty 100%. much a stranger. It's total stranger. I'm a kid. I'm probably like screaming on the mic, losing my mind, being 12, 13 years old, basically just losing it. But all I could remember is this guy's name. It was Anthony five, six, two. And it was engraved in my head ever since that day. Right. And I kind of just went on an infinite mission to find this guy again. Okay. Can I pause? Yeah. <laughs> One, <laughs> this is intriguing on a level if you did not have a 12-year-old brain. Right? <laughs> everything that you just fucking said, my mind goes, okay, you, you got in a car with a guy. And it was yeah, flying. It's like weird. It was flying. Okay. All I can do is find. All I want to do is find him again. Find him again. <laughs> and you want to get in his car. He showed and you I the world. I just want to fly in the Warthog again. Hop in my van. In my Warthog. <laughs> Bro. So, anyway, I just, I got to get that out of me because I'm super immature. No, I love it. I yeah. have, I have the, the, hey, I'm mature, whatever, but like, bro, I just couldn't. Oh, I'd love it. it. No, I'm please sorry. hit me with all angles that you got. Oh. It's awesome. Yeah, just like that too. I will. Be careful. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Uh, so, you, so you went on a mission. Of, so obviously you didn't know this guy. But, no idea. How old are you this time? I was like 12 years old. Okay. And you're like, I'm going to find this Anthony 562 guy. Yep. I'm going to find this Anthony 562 guy. And so okay. I, I really can never find something. I mean, Google is even a thing at this time. Really. Right. It's, it's very, very fundamental. I mean, trying to find something was like going on Yahoo at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and YouTube barely became a thing. It was just becoming a thing. And so there wasn't even people that were doing mods at all. Right. So come to find out, this was actually the guy that kind of like founded modding on that game. No shit. Yeah. So like I had just gotten lucky enough to meet this guy in game. Mm -hmm. He kind of just like teased me enough to show me like, hey, if you maybe, you know, play your cards right, you could do this one day. Right. You know what I mean? And that kind of always just sat in my mind. I was like, "I, I will do whatever it takes. To be that guy, knowing right. that that's possible. Sure. And seeing that online that you can't just Google something or do it. Right. I was always, always intrigued by that. Like, no one fucking knows how to do this. Yes. And this guy just was like this, this superhero. Yeah. Right. No one was doing it. No yeah, one was, nobody doing was doing it. He's the guru. Yeah. So, okay. So how, did you find the guy? So here's the story. So Anthony ends up coming up with this tool and he ends up releasing it all of it on this forum. Okay. And I end up picking up on it. So I see that he releases this tool that you need to basically mod the game. It makes it so other people can do the same mods that he was doing. Mm-hmm. So I try to learn it as a kid. I convinced somebody else that was smarter than me to do it first to show me how to do it. Right. Long story short, I'm, I'm in like an infinite path of always chasing Anthony pretty much. Sure. So a couple like next Halo game, Halo 3 comes around. You know, I've already been dedicated my whole life to hacking Halo 2. Mm-hmm. Nobody's hacked Halo 3. Who comes around is doing the same stuff. Fucking Anthony 562. Fucking Anthony 562. 562. Jesus. Okay. And so, long story short, I mean, I want to be Anthony 562 as much as anybody else. So you start chasing the Halo 3 version. I start chasing the Halo 3 and, like, you know, learning more about how it's all done. And, like, I mean, I'm I'm probably, like, 16 now at this point Mm -hmm. and really trying to learn some, like, fundamental computer stuff like at this point so like c plus plus programming learning how to disassemble games learning how to build games because you got to learn how to build games basically before you can break games while right? a normal teenager was trying to make the football team or <laughs> yeah. trying to get trying to yeah. get the girls or something yeah. this guy's learning programming on yeah. a, a superior a superior too. adult level behind video games that aren't even like released 
That's wild, bro. That's yeah. wild. So why do you think that? Okay, keep going. I, I'll get into that. So, um, I mean, and then it comes to like, I start getting like decent at like modding video games and hacking video games where I actually get in contact with Anthony. Okay. And so like, we're actually like talking a little bit, you right. know, I'm like trying to hack the games, trying to compete a little bit. I'm far out of my league. I admit I'm far out of my league, but he's cool about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if I would ask for like breadcrumbs, he would always give me breadcrumbs. Right. You know, he was never really that like asshole guy. And I would never try to be that guy that would just ask aimlessly, you know, because sure. people should do their research on their own before they waste somebody's time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but long story short, uh, I, uh, I'm i going to say long story short probably like eight times. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can give me all the we all got the We got like an hour and a half, so it's got to be a long <laughs> story fine. short. Um, no, but seriously. Uh, so spend my time basically uh, talking to Anthony a lot. You know, I want to impress him, obviously. Yeah. Like, I'm willing to do anything, of mm -hmm. course. And so now that we're, like, on the cusp of Xbox 360, because before it was the original Xbox. For sure. And now it's the Xbox 360. There's more high stakes. More people are playing video games. You know, video games are becoming more of a thing. Mm -hmm. I start to now learn how to make, like, a little bit of money off of, like, hacking video games pretty much. Okay. So, like, in Call of Duty, like, there's uh, something called Prestige. Have you ever heard of that? Totally, yeah. You're, so, you reach a certain level point, and then you can choose to basically level up. You start over, but you gain, like, another star, we'll call it. Yeah. Your, Bingo. Your, yeah. Yep, exactly. and you can get, like, camos and, like, stuff like that that you can earn in the game. And people want to Prestige. They'll spend a lot of time in the game and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I would do specifically is that I would host these 10th Prestige lobbies, and I would be able to invite people into a lobby and basically change their game stats just by them being in my game. Uh. And so people would pay me on PayPal to change their game stats. All I would have to do is invite them to the game, change their game stats, and boom, right. they're on their way. No shit. Yeah. So I pretty much just found like how that. to make like... Collective, bro. Yeah. It was pretty much my first real sense of like internet money. Mm -hmm. And like if you can provide a service to somebody, people will pay if they can't get it from anywhere else. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So having just like probably at like 16, you know, 100 people's a day would hit me up for a 60 what bucks, 80, 80 bucks service. You Damn. know, I mean, on the high end, sometimes like 200 people would pay. No shit. Just to join in a lobby, you know. Right. And take it and go on. So that's wild, bro. Okay. So what were you, okay, what's a good day then? What were you making? 10 grand? Like that's on the light end, you know. Shut the light work. Wow. Like, so. And how old are you again at this time? <laughs> like 16. 16. Like 16 years old. So like I just, said, just trying cash. to make the football team. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> trying to get a girl. It's like, nah, nah, it's nah. crazy. Trying to get a girl to ask you no. to dance. Yeah. You know? <laughs> It Jesus wasn't just Christ, what bro. he was doing; it was the uh, the level and that he was performing at. Not that. not only that, you okay. One, you had to learn all that shit, and then you're like, your we'll call it your your genius fucking mind goes. You know what? I could probably make a few bucks at this. Why not? Let's go for it. Yeah, you know why not? Why you not know? make a couple ten G's a day when I'm 16? I'm over here fucking jerking off in a circle, like, <laughs> yeah, smoking some weed or something. What the? F and you're over here like <laughs> making ten G's a day. Like make but, it happen more than my but bucket. Money wasn't even the motivation. No, no. It was, oh, I, it was I, like, that, that. that was the weird it. thing. Yeah. That was that, that's what confused me when you know listening but, to this. It's like the money wasn't the motivation. It was the knowledge. It was getting farther in to the oh, like screw the money at that point. It yeah. was like, how do we hack the next game? You exactly. know what I mean? Like, and, I just, and that's what it means to be a true hacker. That's exactly right? like if you look at famous hackers, like who have books written about them and things like that. Mm -hmm. They have like an extremely similar thing that have something. They have like a catalyst event. Then they start doing <laughs> some hacking, and the next thing you know, their PayPal accounts full up. And it's just <laughs> a vicious. Next thing cycle. you know, you can't use Venmo, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I. Um, one, I'm baffled. That's what caught me because I'm just trying to think of what I was doing when I was your age. Yeah. And, you know, I, I definitely wasn't, I was, I was fucking around on games. I was trying to do that stuff, but I didn't have the intellectual thought to be like, I'm going to learn how to do this. And then like, like I always looked at those people like there's yeah. no fucking way. Yeah, <laughs> Straight no, up. You know, that's impossible. That's like, so true though. 
but you you figured out how to do that on a on a scale that's that's un, unbeknownst to me but something anyway, so that you know that path halo know? 3 comes out you're prestiging people you're making 10 g's a day yeah does microsoft when do they catch on to this so like microsoft is still in the clear you know i'm thinking that you know this is how life works you know that's <laughs> <laughs> you hack you hack your video game you get paid and you move on you right. know and that's and that's how you know at least i thought you know and i've been seeing a lot of people like anthony and and these other characters you know make their living basically hacking video games you know right i thought you know that would almost be my career and that's you know logical and not really too unethical i thought you know could sure. be could be a lot a lot more worse. Like, I'm I'm helping people. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm giving them a service. I'm fulfilling their dreams. Right you know, now. I'm giving them a service. You know, I'm out. I'm not out here shooting people in the head every time. I mean, I do that every once in a while. That you know? sounds like fun but too. In the game. In the game. Yes, in the game. In the game. Yeah. In the game. You know, in the, yeah, in the careful game. Careful with the G word on the internet, bro. We'll just then we'll just take it down. Demonetized. Really? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. What do you mean? If you post on YouTube, you, if you say, I thought you like lengthen your stuff out so it doesn't detect as much. I mean, I'll I'll have to bleep this out. But if you say gun on fucking YouTube, they'll take it off. That's right? why they put on when they're selling paintball guns now. They have to put a picture over the trigger. Oh no! Yeah, that's it's why. They have, that's hell, why they have those painful AI yeah. models. Welcome to fucking the universe and the, the world is now. Eating us up, man. So, yeah, fucking cry me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Dude. No, no, no. Well, we will. No, we, we will. Let's go. Get into it. <laughs> so you, uh, Microsoft wasn't even on your radar at this point. No, not not even like you're like I'm cruising, baby. I'm yeah. gonna retire at. 17. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where my you mindset graduate. was, you know. I was yeah. like, I want to buy a house on like Sammamish, you know. So I was like, that's wild. <laughs> that's where my head was at. But so what, at what point did they, did they fucking catch on? Uh, you know, probably. Or am I jumping way ahead? You're jumping a little bit ahead. Why don't you keep going? Why don't, you, why don't you just tap on the FIFA a little bit and then go right into. Yeah. So. FIFA? Yeah. I love FIFA. <laughs> How are you making money on so, FIFA? <laughs> oh, you're hacking on FIFA. What are you? Okay. So in FIFA, there's a currency in FIFA. I don't know if you're aware, but no. there's a currency that you can use in FIFA to buy players and exchange players on a team and do stuff like that. You can basically build your team on FIFA. It's right. pay to win. FIFA is a pay to win international game using something called FIFA points. Okay. So basically... Uh, Which I would assume you at some point you turn points in for money. Like real money is that possible? Um, in the game, yeah, you can buy FIFA points. So okay. like a hundred thousand FIFA points is a hundred bucks, right? Right. But like the best star player, like Messi, right now on twenty three, is technically worth like forty bucks, fifty bucks. Wow. So and that, that's when you have random packs of players. So if you pull that player, now you basically made like forty, fifty dollars, and you can be other people, and hmm. it becomes like a, almost like a trading card for that season. Interesting of the game. Okay, that's kind of a cool business model, actually. Okay. Yeah, so it's cool. I mean, you pay, you get what you get, right? right? So, I mean, it's cool for some people that like pay to win. I mean, some people really don't like it. I mean, because listen, I just love FIFA and I love soccer. <laughs> He's looking at me like I know he hates it. That's why I'm looking. <laughs> Never at spent him. more than fifty bucks <laughs> in a week. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so Dave and Anthony figure out that you can generate these coins basically mm -hmm. so the hacks that we're doing you can do the hacks on fifa they figured out how it works how you could get the coins and just generate them out of thin air okay and then they found a marketplace where they could sell those coins and so they tried to do everything above board um i i wasn't involved in this i i stepped out i was also really really happy with just making money on that's Call when of it Duty. became too much yeah. for his for that 16 year old kid driving warthogs around trying to cheat in the game but when the game became what they're really after these older adults mm -hmm. generating something that makes money that's kind of when Armand I think stepped away yeah I mean because I mean they they made millions um, million yeah. I mean if you'll look they'll, they'll see that they generated I think like maybe 18 million I don't know the exact number but it was a lot and they just, money and they just fucking sold it Wow dude. That's yeah. fucking nuts. Yeah. 
Yeah. Holy shit. So you really, you're like, okay, uh, that's a lot of zeros. I'm going to have to pass on that. So one. they didn't even want to tell me about mm-hmm. it. Like, oh shit. I mean, and I don't blame them to be honest. Like I was a kid. Like, why would you, I mean, right. It was already nice enough with the stuff that they gave me. I'm not going to lie and act like they didn't give me, you know, some free stuff every now and then that would For help sure. me out. You know what I mean? Like, these were, I would say, were like my hacking mentors. Does that make sense? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So these these guys would give me like source code if I if I ever asked for. If I knew something that they were doing, they would usually let me onto it or give me access. And Just because they probably were like, okay, this guy don't want to mess bro. with Armand the cyber. No. Well, <laughs> also, I had that credibility. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I I, I was that guy that was there every day, mm-hmm. messaging you nonstop, no matter what. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And if you gave me something, I wasn't going to turn your back and give it to somebody else because right. I knew the power of it within itself. You sure. had a lot of rapport built with them, like as a group. Yeah. Or at least we tried, you know, <laughs> <laughs> as so, much as people you meet on the Internet. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Doubt. It's hard. So, OK, the, the FIFA thing, they just started making money and you like checked out and you're like, OK, at this point, like I'm going to I'm going to back out a little bit because that's a lot. So, yeah. Where'd you, where'd you go? You just keep doing your warthog shit. Yeah, so I I kept doing my warthog stuff. I mean, honestly, like I was I was really <laughs> happy. Yeah, no, I, warthog <laughs> shit. I was really happy with just uh, flying around in Halo and and you know making tenth for siege lobbies and Call of Duty and for sure and having games before they were out. You know, right. that that was like a big cool thing for us. Like we would always have games before they were out. I mean, in like every stage. I'm that not sounds just, wild to me, by the way. I'll I'll, I'll ask you later, but. Yeah, okay. it's just cool. I mean, games are broken down into stages. I don't know. There's like pre-alphas, alphas, pre-betas, betas, and then they come up with the pre-release and then the release. Right. So these are like builds that each basically big game goes through and they okay. always have. He was playing Grand Theft Auto with black boxes as the characters because they hadn't been made yet. Yeah. And we're, we're not talking about, like, the games that, like, go to, like, big tech employees, like the Microsoft employees, because I grew up in, like, the same area. So you have people whose parents, like, work at Microsoft and they get games. Like, these are, like, pre-pre-release. Like, these but aren't even beta would, versions. He would hack into the people making the game, and yeah. then he would he would edit it. Fuck with the developers. He yeah. would piss yeah. them off. This, is yeah. like, this was this was entertaining <laughs> like, to his mind. Open like source. This was way the, too much fun, bro. Yeah. This was a thirty-two year old guy <laughs> going into work with his team. Yep, my man. Oh yeah, in the face. Thirty year old guy. Yeah, thirty year old guy going to work and you know developing a game. The day before his day before his work is just completely wiped, and you got flying warthogs. You got you know different houses. Like it's just that's what he would do. It, it, Can you imagine, bro? Yeah, it's, it's your crazy. work day is to show up. You're building this video game. You hit that. You hit that con- command S button yesterday, right? You left. Yep. Everything's good to go. You shut her down. You wake up the next morning. And there's a fucking dick fucking in your screen. Fucking mayhem, dude. Just <laughs> fucking mayhem. Just like with a, <laughs> with a signature that I could not imagine that, bro. That I would make, I would be, I would, one, I'd be like, what the, who did this? Yep. Yeah. You probably started fights in it. He was probably going to the guy next to him like, listen, Gerald, quit fucking with yeah. my stuff, okay? Stop got playing with my do. computer. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to ask you how, but I feel like that's going to take too long. So you just... Yeah, because the how is is one that's baffling me because I feel like it's magic. We had a magician on the screen. He was like fucking with my head. This is fucking with my head just as much as <laughs> the, the magician how, was. Bro. You can't ask. It's tough. Like, the how is tough. Uh, it's well, really but, not. No, it's, it's, it's it's really not. That I just bad. feel like it won't. Uh, <laughs> let me try. You're to, gonna tell me I'm gonna go. Uh, pff, yeah. No. Okay. Let me try to break it down to you like as easy as possible. Tell me after. I want to know how okay. you got caught. Okay. How I got caught. Tell start me how you introducing. Got I feel like there's a lot start more build inter- up to that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can introduce some of the people and just kind of tell them how you got in, I guess. And then well, okay. Maybe... Well, what happens next then? If that's the if that, if it's what the fuck more could happen? You're already like making 10 G's a day. Yeah. So these right. guys you're are hacking FIFA, these people. You're doing war so, hogs. So so this is all great, right? Cuz this is Xbox 360. Right. Okay. And then so there is something called a JTAG exploit. I know I said that word exploit. It's yep. coming back again. Okay. There's something called a JTAG exploit within a 360, which made your Xbox run unsigned code. What does unsigned code mean? 
It means anybody that can write the code can publish the code to the Xbox. So it's like a big vulnerability for the Xbox. Okay. I mean, so like you could write code, have put it on an Xbox, like if and you, it'll run. So if you knew how to do it, you could do it. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. And so that that was and like they, Microsoft goes, no one knows how to, they're not going to fuck with this. So we're just not even going to put a protection thing. on Pretty that. much, so yes. a, until it comes out, right? right? So when security vulnerabilities are a thing, it's like if the impact is big enough, then the patch will happen always. Okay. Right. So like if your phone, right, if I knew something that was like I could send you a text mm-hmm. and it would hack you instantly without you clicking on it. Right. That's what we call a zero day exploit. Right. I've heard of this. So this means that if I posted that exploit, it would be within zero days for them to patch it. Basically, it's that impactful. Does Got that it. make sense? OK. It's deadly. It's yeah. not to be confused with them finding it that day also. Sure. Because a zero day could last years Correct. technically so yeah, I, without I them could, finding it yeah i could yeah. have 20 zero days but i haven't released them Got does it. that make sense yeah. yeah so you know you just you just haven't released it yet because you don't yeah okay i get, i know i totally get it i'm following okay so time went on and and basically this exploit came out to everybody and everybody was doing it okay. and the problem came rampant right if everybody was doing it in every game you then went like, on to then you know they got to cut the cord. Right. So they came in, they hired a team of security experts, and they wrote this code that basically checks your Xbox whenever you connect to Xbox Live to see if your Xbox is hacked. Okay. And so that stopped everybody. Sure. Right? Except Dave and Anthony. Ah, okay. And so what did they do? They figured out how to make their own Xbox Live server that would spoof the code to send back to the Xbox Live to make your Xbox look legit. Genius as a developer. Yeah, genius. that's that's so like genius. Everything that took place there wow. was like crazy, and so wow. I'm just a kid in the back and learning how it works. But I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna do that myself, and then I'm gonna charge other hackers for the service by day. <laughs> and how are you gonna do that? <laughs> wow. Okay. So and he's getting older. Yeah. You know, I'm, so you know, he's getting older. So now he's getting more mature. He's like, all right, well, I got Microsoft in my hometown. These guys don't. What's the next move? Yeah. What's the big break? I mean, we went you to like, What's middle the next school and move? high school, How? elementary school with half the my class. Their parents worked for Microsoft. Right. Bill Gates was the neighbor. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's I I had a buddy in high school whose dad worked for Microsoft, but I, both his parents did. But I don't know. That's it feels all like got. everybody around here at least knows somebody that worked. Someone from, does or, for sure. You know, and all connection. those parents didn't invest. You know that yeah. kind of story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I knew the I janitor. Invested in that, Apple. They paid him in stock. <laughs> Whatever, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Right, Windows 95 going. user. So head ass. Fucking <laughs> 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 head ass. AOL bitch. <laughs> You've got mail. So back to Xbox running unsigned code, right? Okay. So this is all cool, but Microsoft makes an Xbox that they don't tell people about called the developer kit that they give to developers that only runs unsigned code. The dev kit. Bum, 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 okay. Done, done. Okay. The so, rare beast. Really. Yes, very the rare. rare very beast. rare. So the rare Pokemon. Like like first edition Charizard is yeah. a dev kit. Terrible that's, that's RNG. Deep. <laughs> that's deep, bro. So you the can't one. buy them at Walmart. You know, you can't you can't just get them off the shelf. You have to get it in Microsoft. You have to get it from Microsoft. Or if you're like a that's, game company that or a is game company that's a, licensed. I feel through. like license. you would only tell me this if you got one. Oh, wait till you hear it. One. So, <laughs> One. I mean, we at, at at the point we we were collectors in this thing. Dude, this is so, yeah. fucking like, so intense. Like, I've never heard of one of these. We tell them it's rare, and you're like, I have multiple. Yeah. <laughs> right. Say less. I'm re- I'm ready. I got a fucking okay. No, so we keep going. Like we used to always have like Skype calls, uh-huh. and our goal would be to stack all of our Xboxes, and whoever could get them the highest in the room before it falls would win. Like, that's what we used to do. That's Scott, the what nerdy mean? shit that they like, would be doing. What do you like, mean, Skype We used calls? to stack developers' kits and show each other on Skype to see how high we could get it before the tower would fall and whoever would do it Just would Just a flex. And we had that many that it, it wouldn't okay, matter. How'd you, you know? get the Xboxes? So, there, so at first, you know, it was... We had a couple of ins that would either send... Development units to be destroyed in China, uh-huh. and these distributors would just turn around and sell them back. 
instead of destroying them, actually. And they would tell hmm. Microsoft, hey, we destroyed them, but no, we actually sent them back. Ah. So that was one okay, how'd way. you know this? How did you find that? So one of the other hackers figured this out on a Chinese market called Taobao, which is like a big like Chinese retailer. It's almost like an eBay of China. It's owned okay. by Alibaba. Taobao. Got it. So they was listing on there. This guy was listing weirdly shaped Xboxes. He didn't even know what they were, but he knew they were Xbox shaped. Okay. So when we figured that out, obviously, he bought a whole bunch of them. Right. So that was like a big way a lot of these Xbox development kits were coming in. Mm -hmm. Short for XDK is what we call them. Okay. So these XDKs were coming from China. But also, I mean, you could think about the logistical stuff. I mean, people would close down game departments, right? Right. And people would go home. And, I mean, people would have garage sales. They would pop up randomly. Like, you wouldn't even... Imagine and I mean, people really wouldn't know what they have. They no just think they have this yeah. Xbox, but it's got like you know an extra four inches on the top like that, and mm. half yeah. of it. It's not fully completed half the time. Why the fuck were they not more secure? like if they knew that that sh they, maybe they just didn't think of the. I mean, you have to, at that time. You have to have people develop the game, mm -hmm, right? right? Even like nowadays with PlayStation Fives, like they have thousands of dev kits in in the field at all these companies yeah. sure. for all the major consoles. Wow, they're probably but, a little bit know, safer about it now. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. You think maybe that? I guess this is a lesson learned. You, you know, know but be. but they hide it from consumers in a way, you know, where they don't want to really show it off. Right. Know? So it's also that mystery thing that kind of sent me off too, and knowing that that was like also my secret ticket mm -hmm. in the game, I was like, okay. No doubt. This is cool. I'm into this. Okay. Um, this is really fucking good, by the way. This is, this is, my brain is. I'm, I'm glad. This drink no, like him is for, really fucking good. No, this is, like, drinks no. Are fire. These drinks are fire. Devs is the best coffee shop you could <laughs> yeah, ever go to. Dev, dev kits. Yeah, dev kits. De oh, Can I be honest? Oh, maybe, maybe when they told me be a drink. <laughs> when they told me where we were going, Can I, I get thought the it was like a coffee spot where a whole bunch of programmers come. I'm, I'm a developer, so I was like, "Wait, like, there's devs there? Like, we're gonna code. We're gonna code. Such a nerd. Bro. I'm not ready. I didn't bring my laptop. I really, honestly, that's what I kept on thinking because I literally left my laptop. It's a developer coffee yeah. bar. You guys are fucking funny. Are funny. Okay, keep going. Keep okay, going. so um, coming up, you know, uh, Xbox 360, right? I master it. I hacked it. You know, these guys also master it. They hacked it." But another console's coming up. The Xbox One. Boom, 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 he's like, boom. he's got the like, so the after, he's like, the X. Just yeah, the, yeah, I don't know. I I dude, fucking, I like I said, I said, I said, I need him. Yeah, you know, bro, he, this he, is he makes it. So, yeah. so the Xbox One's coming out. Xbox One's coming out, and you know, everybody wants to get a piece. Mm -hmm. Every hacker wants to get a piece. But they're expensive. The, like the Xbox Ones came out, there it wasn't like the 360. Oh, they're not out yet. Yeah. They're not even out yet. Like the, well, I know, not out yeah. yet. But they were more. They were gonna be. Oh way, yeah, they were gonna be. They were gonna be far better than the 360. Yeah, for you sure. Know? Yeah. And, and there's be, like it was 20 times more people playing video games yeah. than mm -hmm. when the last one came out. Yeah, right. So no you doubt. have it, it's online by default. People are used to being online. Everyone's playing games. There's more game. They uh, even made an companies. Xbox room, an Xbox building now section. In Microsoft, mm -hmm. where it's literally dedicated for dedicated Xbox. for controller of Xbox, Xbox. Yeah. It's literally Xbox. Weird. Yeah, this okay. is one of Microsoft's best-selling products at that era. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Arnold. So going going on, you know, the Xbox One is coming up, and like, what we're just gonna give up everything that we've spent all this time hacking for, all this time researching for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, me especially, I, I want to get ahead of the game. You know, it's 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 my time to shine. Right. You know, I'm coming up on 18, right? Like, it's, this is, this is my, this is going to be my career. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going to be a professional video game hacker forever. Mm -hmm. You know, and I start getting more lucrative with, with my game cheats. Like, it wasn't just, you know, hacking Call of Duty lobbies and that was it. Oh, I was figuring out how to cheat competitively and win tournaments even. Really? So now I was getting like a rush. Mm -hmm. So I could join these Call of Duty tournaments. I could outgame everybody and make them think that I was playing legit, basically. Right. By seeing always radar on, you know, and stuff like that. But playing it off. But I would go on and win many tournaments, and that kind of gave me like the rush. Like, I never wanted to stop. I could make money. I could do it all, basically. Jesus. So going through the checklist, you know, Xbox One coming up. You know, we have all these Xbox development kits, but nobody has an Xbox One dev kit. For sure. 
how am I going to get an Xbox One dev kit? Mm. That's the grand question, right? How am I going to beat everybody of this whole hacking crew? How'd you get one? So my mom's boyfriend at the time worked for Microsoft. Oh, had yeah. a had an all access badge clearance big wig. for Microsoft. Okay. Big wig, big dick walking. Yep. <laughs> tap tap in. I would have this <laughs> access like at home as much as I wanted. Right. You know, and I'm also not learning just video game hacking at this time. No, no, no. I'm learning all types of hacking. Okay. I want to know how everything works. Wireless communication, antennas, badges, you name it, right? Mm-hmm. Security. Security in general. You know, I, I, that's how you have to be the best hacker. You know, you have to at least master security at the least. Right. So I have this badge, spend all these times. I buy all these badge readers, you name it, spend a whole bunch of time with the badge. I end up creating my own clone of the badge. Why? Because I wanted, I want an Xbox He's a hacker because, because he wanted. Why? To. Why? Why would you clone? That's the drive. Your your mom's ex- boyfriend's Microsoft badge. That's our what you mean. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> to see if he can, <laughs> right? I mean, that's that's the hacking This was itch, the only right? opportunity. Xbox. I mean, Who else? How many more times as an Xbox? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Xbox One's gonna come out. It's down the road. Boyfriend works there. I mean. Everything Honestly, lined up. If you, know? Everything lined up. if you didn't, you would just be, you'd be depressed. You wouldn't be a professional 17-year-old Ga- video game hacker. <laughs> exactly. That's what you wouldn't Yeah, be. guys, don't do what I did. <laughs> just say that. Disclaimer. Do not do what I did. did. Yeah. You, you will, if you did what I did, you, <laughs> you'll have to face the consequences. You'll have to face the music, and it's, okay, it's so. not worth it. But uh, long story short, uh, here we go again. That's Three count time. number seven. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible for counting. <laughs> um, I clone this badge. Right. I have this badge. I make up this whole plan of how this is going to go down. I know this entry of this building. I know the side of Renmin of where this building was. I mean, this is like my backyard. I grew up in Bellevue, Washington. Mm-hmm. I've seen all around this campus just driving. I've also have asked my mom's boyfriend a good amount of questions about Xbox. You right. Know, just in general. He's at home all the time. He's got access. You know, I can ask him. Basic stuff. You know, nothing too crazy. Where do they do the development at? Where do they do this? You know, oh, it's at this building. Oh, yeah, they do this here, this there. You know, just taking notes as time goes on. Nothing, sure. Nothing too crazy. But sly. being so sly. Exactly. I mean, just bro. walking up to, hey, man, uh, just curious. Where, where do they develop the Xbox? <laughs> I mean, he's 17 years old. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so he's it really 17 works. 17 years old. So, yeah, if I'm telling a 17 year old, actually, <laughs> a, yeah, I'm bragging to him, you know, at that point, especially the relationship that he's trying to bond with you. He's yeah. dating your mom. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's got to get in with Homeboy. I'm going to no, tell you no. everything I know. And, 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 and Jonathan, good. I'm sorry. I love you. If, if, <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too, Jonathan. <laughs> it's good to see you two days ago. <laughs> um, but it's uh, yeah, it's it, I I took the badge and I and I plotted a scheme to go into Microsoft late at night and take the kits. How did Jesus, that feel? Dude. Taking them or yeah, plotting like, like the action dance. of doing it? Like, were you scared? Like, what what is what well, was Well, first like? tell them about the the pre drive, and then you know how you're gonna do it, where you parked, and then. Oh, it was Let's bad. Let's make a tutorial, though. Yeah. Like, no, I don't want to get too in-depth because I definitely don't want to encourage anybody to break no, no, no. into keep, Microsoft. Keep going. How, okay, know. so you broke into Microsoft. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you how after. Yeah, sure. We'll talk about that after. But you you broke into Microsoft. Yep. You you found the room. I did. Where they develop yep. this dev, what do you call it? A dev D, kit. Dev kit. What, no, you Sponsored said, by devs. Yes. <laughs> Sponsored by Des. You you found where they developed the Xbox yes. One and you snagged one. Yep. Not just one. Not, oh. But three. Okay, you snagged three. And no one else has these. Nobody. You're else. the only one that has these. Yep. What the fuck did you do with it, dude? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna Check do me. with it? Well, long story short. <laughs> <laughs> This is this, is, you do this is a hacker's paradise. Right. This is the holy grail. 
<laughs> like this is this is what you hold out for, you know, any security reason. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is like being caught with your pants down. For sure. That, that's how I could explain it. Okay. In your terms, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My twelve year old terms. Yeah, there you go. Um so I got this, you know, this Xbox one that can run unsigned code. And you know, but that's that's cool, but that's not that cool, right? If I just have an Xbox One that I can't use, right? Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, I mean, it's still pretty cool, but it's yeah, still go ahead. cool. I but gotta what? kick one to the homies. I, Anthony, man, gotta <laughs> kick one on. to I, who wants to play video games by themselves. So you gave one to Anthony and you gave one to Dave. Dave, yeah, okay. But there's still not like no games Are for the, it. Like, there's still, but here's the thing: in our black boxes. Are these dudes local uh, with you? Yeah. Like, did they live? No. So Dave lived in Cal. Uh, or sorry, Dave lived in Canada, and Anthony lived in California. Mm. So you ship them to him or something? I did ship them to them. Okay. So this uh, this actually went down as the first uh, cyber crime where a Canadian was extradited to United States. That had never happened before. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's intense, right? So who's the who's the Canadian? So that that was uh, Dave. Okay, Dave was a Canadian. Yep, and he was extradited to the United States for this. Yep, this is deep, bro. So okay. it it goes deeper. Oh, <laughs> god damn! I it know. never stops. Right? I know, bro. It never stops. Don't you <laughs> it hate just it? Keeps on going. <laughs> so you fucking you you. you so were, I do that. Yeah, and it worked. You know, so now you're everything you're playing, I wanted. You're you're and yeah. You're oh. doing all the shit on the Xbox One that nobody else has access to. And I got one over to these guys and I earned their trust. And so they instantly give me all the access that I need to finish what I'm doing on the Xbox One. Jesus, dude. Yes. One of us you know? now. Yep. Yeah. You sent me okay. a dev kit? You're wow. in. There's you no know, games I'm, for these things yet? I'm in the And circle. no one knows at this point. You're just chilling. At oh. home. No, I'm yeah, you know? I'm, I'm hiding. I'm I'm failing my grades. I'm hacking my grades at school, like just getting by. Like it's should have <laughs> hacked mine so I could graduate. <laughs> you were hacking your grades. I hacking was. Never grades. One yeah, I grades. got away with hacking my grades. I can <laughs> say that thankfully, f- but I got expelled two times for getting caught. Wow, dude, don't get it twisted. It's like he was doing this shit, but he caught. wasn't. You know, I got caught. He was doing it until he Dude, got caught. This is just unreal. Okay. <laughs> so you were hacking your grades. <clears throat> uh, okay. so I'm, I'm not even going to ask how you got. What's next? That's a good one. Okay. Long story short. Yeah, that's a good one. The what's next. Because <laughs> what, what, haven't you already me. peaked out? Like what else could you possibly do? Right. You, you have the dev kit. You've given the dev kit to the people that you've looked up for your entire life. What more could you want? I get backstabbed a little bit. Oh, hmm. you got backstabbed? I get backstabbed in this instance. Okay. Somebody. Who the fuck backstabbed you? Somebody leaks in our circle some so code. You, do you know who it was to this day? I do. Okay. Yep. There's two people in here. It's, right. It's, yeah. Either it's Anthony Nathan, or Dave. It's Nathan and, and Dylan in this. If you look in this article. Okay. There's two characters in here named Nathan and Dylan. And they were also in the crew doing some random stuff. I mean, okay. we were a little bit distanced. Of course, we all talked. Right. But I was not a big fan of them, per se. So someone leaked it. Yeah. So they didn't just leak anything, but they shared with them a critical part of the Xbox One software in the development stage. Huh. Okay. And so what we figured out what to do at this point, because the Xbox One was so fundamental in development at this stage. hmm we could create our own Xbox One dev kits. Okay. So we could get all the parts to create our own Xbox. Oh, shit. Okay. And so that was like a, that's a big deal because, of course, if anybody can just create an Xbox. Right. Yeah, for sure. Then, you know what I mean? Before they could it's go even t- out. Yeah, they could go Before take Before it's even out now. You, you know what I mean? still have one. So yeah. think of that on a financial state, an Xbox. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah th- there's... That's multi million dollars lost. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably like 50 plus. Yeah. Oh, easy. To 100. So we, I mean, we hack Microsoft, but that's not just it. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, not just me exclusively, but everybody here. Right. We end up hacking all video game publishers. Like, if you're making a video game on Xbox, we want to hack you just because we can. Right. And we want to get your game. Jesus. But dude. one of the characters in here ends up getting a military simulator that's being developed by a gaming company, a gaming studio called Zombie Games mm-hmm. in Seattle. Same okay. game engines. And that sets off the alarm. Okay. You know, everything's all fun and games until it's not fun and games and it's yeah. until it's yeah. military yeah. software. Until it's an army. <laughs> yeah. to, it's army, right? The yeah, it was an army, it was co- an helicopter. army helicopter Apache simulator. What so the, the army? Wow. Yeah. It was for the army for these guys that go into the Apaches and are going to fly them in real life. So I, I never Dude, forget this day. I never forget this day. I got sent this zip file over AOL. Okay. And it's AOL. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> With the little guy right? <laughs> running, <laughs> running. I get this zip file from Austin. And he says, hey, look what we found. And I load up this game. I'm like, I can't even fly this helicopter. What what controller do you use for this? I'm so confused. I pull it up in this disassembler. It's basically how we reverse the video games, how we can see what's going on on the code. Sure. And I look at that and I see 160 inputs. There's no controller on the Xbox that has 160 inputs. Oh, shit. Where did you get this? Black Hawk Down. Right. It was from... Oh, we hacked this thing called uh, Zombie Game Studios. Look at this IP address. This routes to the Navy, my guy. What are you doing? The U.S. Navy. (sighs) The U.S. Navy. Apache. So if you are going to fly an Apache, (laughs) you have to be in this... Dude, so... What the fuck? And this, I believe, is unreleased too, right? More than likely, huh? Was this unreleased like, yet? Yeah, was this the helicopter software unreleased? Oh, it's it's top classified. It's yeah. not supposed it, it, it to get re- out, it, so it's it out. It never would be yeah. out, but it's just not out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, if, I, I was thinking like maybe it's for like a new helicopter or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it's to train so you went people from video to, games to fucking Apache helicopters in the Navy. Okay, just so like that. Red flag happens. Insulin. Navy comes and they knock on your door and blow you out. You know? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Not that easy. No, you know, not that easy. So <laughs> just getting blown out by the Navy. <laughs> In the Navy. So they they fucking they, these dudes. Okay, this dude sends you this game and you're going, what the fuck is this? Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, and then so obviously we figure out it's a game of four. The army, sure. you know, and we want, I mean, I wanted no part of it. Of course, I'm sure they were doing whatever they wanted to do with it, sharing with them themselves and laughing about it. Right. You know, right. there was a lot of careless activities in this. For sure. In this group, you know clearly. what I mean? Clearly. Right. <laughs> clearly. Clearly. <laughs> um, uh, we, uh, we continue on, I mean, hacking the games and then I get in trouble when I, Get a job at Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Purple. Welcome oh. to so, the Thunder fucking so, so This guy is so cocky. That's a word for it. It's so cocky. I thought he I thinks understood he's everything. so underground. He's like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to go apply for Microsoft and really see if I can get in the shit. Bro. Bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh. There's an 18 year old mind working, but most 18 year olds can't even get a job at Microsoft. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, man! Tell them about the shoes. Oh, not the shoes. <laughs> Tell them about not the shoes. The shoes. That's my favorite part of this entire are they journey. The Jays. The, the shoes okay. are pivotal. Oh. Okay. Well, Cinderella's a, glass slipper. If what I'd about say the shoes, so bro? <sighs> Okay. Smoking time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Long story short. <laughs> <laughs> Number he said 10. It this time. Okay. So you. Okay. I'm probably. following. I'm mm-hmm. with it. I'm just. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. No. I'm. My. You go from being a 12 year old who doesn't steal candy bars, bro. Yep. To now this motherfucker sends you a Navy simulator that you shouldn't have. 
mm-hmm. all by any means. And then you're like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'll just go get a job at Microsoft. Yes. You know, it's yes, time to turn ex- it around. You know? It's time to be an adult, is it not? That is so epic. <laughs> there is, n- there is crazy. nothing that there there that is so like you're just like <laughs> you Oh be- wait a second, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think I'm not gonna top this. <laughs> You just wait, pal. Oh, you, better, you, you wait till you wait till you see what happens. Okay, Hold so my wait, you wait till you see what happens. Keep going, please. You wait till you see what happens. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I get the job. Yeah, obviously. I, I get, mean, you'd obviously. fucking hack your way into the job, <laughs> yeah, right? Just, I, 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 he interviewed himself. <laughs> I accepted one. <laughs> you walk into the you walk into the interview, and he's he's like he's like he's like hey. Uh, I really don't give a fuck about this interview at all. <laughs> just tell me whatever you want. What do you want to ask me? Should I just leave now? Just write my name. Hard no. Leaves. Come next back. Day, next come day. back. You show up. You're like, hey, man. Hey, ma- remember that hard no you said? We're coworkers now, bro. And he's like, what the fuck's going on here, bro? Newsflash, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, daddy's in charge. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Microsoft Exchange. You can yep. do anything. Wild, dude. It's crazy. Okay. So... <sighs> My heart's racing. Is your heart racing, Carter? Carter, you having a good time over there? Oh, yeah, this is awesome. How is this, Carter? <laughs> is this good? Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I get the job. Okay. I walk in. I go to training. You know, I vibe with everybody there. I get there. No one knows you, bro. No one knows you. Nobody has, no one has any idea clue. that you know fucking more Listen than to the this. goddamn seat. Go this ahead. is ridiculous. They sit us down. With these Xbox 360 dev kits, Mm -hmm. and they put us in front of a game, and they say, documentate everything and say all the bugs here. And listen, I already knew the build of the game. I've already done everything with Xbox dev kits, everything. I went in there, and I did everything, and I swear less than 30 minutes, and everybody in the whole cubicle is looking confused. Not even past, not even on stage one. Right. Not even right, like. Right, right, what was right. like your job title too? Like, uh, like, like, I was like, a what? QA tester. QA tester. That's, That's what they had me at. Could probably help them build the Xbox. <laughs> okay. So my manager asked me, he says, how do you know all this stuff? I said, oh, I have a, I have a dev kit at home. It's like, oh, oh that's no. sick. It's like, that's awesome. Yeah. Doesn't think anything of it. Right. He's like, oh, you know. That is what it is. Next day goes on. Somebody shows up at that office, escorts me out of the building, and tells me never to come back. Ooh, okay. And that's all that I know from that situation. Right. So I get, like, super weirded out, obviously. Yeah. I send out 100 emails. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Like, can you tell me anything? Mm-hmm. I'm just like, no, you're a security concern. That's mm. it. Okay. Come to find out. This character in here, Dylan, found out I got a job. Fucking Dylan, bro. God damn it. And they know exactly what department, where I'm going at. Why? Because we already breached the whole company. So he sends him an email. Snitch. Saying, hey, there's this legendary Xbox hacker working for your building. Don't trust him. Hater. Simple as that. Haters gonna hate. So I get in the dark. You know, weeks... Weeks go by, mm-hmm. still hacking everything, of course. Right. You know, why not? At that point, I was ready to hang it all up, you know. Sure. But a month comes by, I submit another application. We're playing games now. We're going wild. Why, really? why not? What, why what's not? the worst what is that could happen? Worst, what is the they absolute just say, worst? They just say no, bro. Yeah, you're crazy. What? You're I mean, blacklisted. See, it's but honestly, Armand kind of is crazy at this point. He's so malicious. You have to understand. I've been told <laughs> no every single time, and I say I'm going to retry that. Let me see if that works again. <laughs> so, Paul, <laughs> another application. <laughs> what happens? Did you? Did they hire? I you? get accepted again. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? You Why know what? Not? Let's give this guy another world. He doesn't know. Let's just pretend like he forgot everything. Okay. Different cubicle, different group. Stun on everybody. Do my job amazingly. But this time I stay quiet. Yeah. This okay. time I'm, like, I'm not going to tell nobody nothing. I'm going to shut my mouth. For sure. Funniest thing ever. 
I get assigned a game to work on. Mm -hmm. It's a game called Watch Dogs. Okay. I I haven't heard heard of that game, but it's it's basically... It's a hacking game. It's a hacking game. Really? So it's it's a game. It's like Grand Theft Auto Mm -hmm. and hacking combined. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, there's this character named Aiden Pierce. He's Mm -hmm. the main character of the game. And he has this ultra hacking ability because he hacked the city. Right. So he can change lights. He can hack people's bank accounts or do whatever, basically. For sure. So I was tested on this game and to build this game. And I fell in love with it, obviously. Right. For sure. Yeah. You know, and for the whole month that I got to work on it, it was awesome. You know, and and I gave up all my hacking as is. You know, Mm -hmm. I, I would just do my job. I'd be so tired of working, actually, that I'd come home and just hang it all up. You yeah, know? I was like, maybe this is going to be a really cool story that I can just tell on a podcast from 10 years from now. For sure. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's not where it stopped. No. Okay. You know, of course, there was still beasts working behind, you know, and right. all these characters still had different stuff going on, you know, each one of them. And you're at an intertwined at this point. Uh, I mean, I s- can't get away from those guys. I mean, I've grew up into this basically. Right. right. But at this point, I try to exile myself out. Okay. Because I knew the damage that it caused, right? Last time it costed me my job, right? And I knew that it could have been worse. Mm-hmm. It could have been everything, right? But then one of these guys goes missing. We know something's up because a eBay listing goes up and it's an Xbox development kit, an Xbox One development kit on eBay. Mm. Okay. So that big red flag there, right? right. So boom, FBI kicks in at that point. They have to step in. So, I mean, it's pretty much as clear as day, right? Somebody does something on eBay that says that there's been a big breach, right, within this top fortune company. Okay. You know what I mean? The listing goes up to like $18,000. Wow. That's a lot, dude. And the head of cyber, like FBI cybersecurity, is lo- head location is in Redmond. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, they're they're looking at that, like, really hard. You know, and now they're like, all right, what's going on? You know, we have this, this new console coming up. Obviously, there's already a breach that's taking place. You got this guy that's been fired a couple of times going around. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's obviously a loose string here. There's these games that are in these companies that are getting breached consistently. And these game hacks keep coming up. Mm -hmm. Like, they're getting checkmated in every place. You know? You you hung it up, but you got... Did you get blamed for all of it? Oh, yeah. The shoes. I get hit hard. Fucking shoes. The shoes. I get hit harder than a bag of rocks. So I go... One day at work. Yeah. One day at work. Walk in. You know, I I get let out by one person... You know, they go to my manager and say, hey, can I talk to Armand Saudry? Armand Saudry, over here, please. Well, here we go. Start walking. <laughs> then I notice it's past the entry place that we're walking. So right. Like, strange. And we walk behind a glass wall. <sighs> Whole conference table. I'm talking about 24 people deep. FBI, cybersecurity, guys from the White House. Everything. Uh, not a fucking promotion. Is like, what it was. you not. <laughs> this is fucking the deep name promotion. It. You name it. I mean, the dudes with the big, all the achievements and stuff like that. Uh, general. I mean, it the, all. This is what it. The you like got, a movie. Uh, okay. So you walk no in that bill. room and they got a fat sack of paper. Dude. And they just went into me. You just stood there and you just took it or what? I had to. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they, they tell you, hey, this is being recorded. Do I have your permission? No, you don't have my permission. No, you need to tell me what's going on right now. Right. Flipping through has. So can you tell me about this incident breach at this date, at this time with this game company? Can Jesus. you tell me about this? Can you tell me about this character? Can you tell me about this person? Right. And then they get to the pictures of me on the campus. And they say, are these your shoes? And I look down, and I'm wearing the same shoes. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. Shoes, bro. The Didn't fucking Didn't think to swap shoes. them out. No. 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 Still we're making, good. We're making 10K a month. I yeah. don't need new shoes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Nobody. Dude. Just a sweat. Do you still have those shoes? 
Heck no. Sorry. Fuck okay. no. Heck no. Sorry. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> you you were still wearing this thing. They, it, looked, let, it was like a look down moment. Yeah. So like I had to like verify. Nikes? Okay, okay. I'm going to pause you. But what was... Okay, and I'm sure this is probably sure. hard to describe, but what's going through your head at this point? Uh, everything that I've worked for or thought I had is Gone. crumbled Just officially. Done. Right. Like, you know that. I would like, pass out, bro. I would yeah. pass out. Yeah. You'd stand in front of all of these people, and they're just like, "Well, they know." And that's the that's the that's thing. Is the they worst knew, part. They knew what he had done. Yeah. So he would have been fine and dandy if they didn't know. But there was such an investigation on it that yeah. was so in the dark behind him. He didn't know really who the fuck he was fucking with. Mm-hmm. Cyber. I mean, I mean, I mean, cyber security is literally the head locations in Redmond, right, right next to. Right. 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 So yeah. it was just, yeah. Did you think you were going to get away with it still? Uh, I mean, like in the back of my head, I was like, man, what's, what's the worst? Do I got to go hide a couple of like Xboxes in, in the dirt right now? Like, mm-hmm. what do I got to do? Go to like Nicaragua? Like, I don't even know. Nicaragua. <laughs> Nicaragua. <laughs> so you, you, well, okay. So you get caught, you go to jail or what? No. So I walk out of there. Okay. They let me walk out. But I work with this investigator at Microsoft to help try to retrieve the Xboxes back. Mm-hmm. And so I try to convince Dave, like, at first, like, hey, uh, I can install some updates on your Xbox. You know, just just send it back to me. I'll, I'll send it back to you. You know, just let me update it. Right. I can have it updated, you know. And he knew at that time that I actually got my job back. Mm-hmm. So it was maybe feasible if I was saying that. Okay. But he knew something was up. He's like, no, I'm, I'm all right. I'm not going to send it. Mm. So then I started to panic. And I was like, well, I got to come clean. Yeah. I was like, hey, bro, I got busted. For sure. Like, I, I need that Xbox back if you don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. He's like, well, I didn't do anything wrong. So <laughs> did he send you the Xbox back? I eventually talking him into sending me the Xbox back. Wow. So that's one of two. <sighs> okay. So what, you need one more? Yep. <clears throat> that's a little tougher. Yeah. Okay. What happened with this guy? Got to get it back from Anthony. So that conversation didn't go as the other one did or what? I mean, it wasn't too bad. As soon as I said that something weird was going on, he was like, yeah, I don't want to deal with this. He's like, yeah, just just take it. You know, he, he didn't want to risk anything to go wrong. That okay. was That wasn't his style. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he was like, yeah, no, I'm good off of this. He didn't even know how it was taken, Mm -hmm. even at that point. But Dave did. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. So I I, I got both of them back, you know, and at that point, uh, Homeland Security is monitoring me. Mm -hmm. And they're watching me grab everything, you know, orchestrate it. And it's like a real deal investigation. You know what I mean? Because they think. If we're kids just hacking into Microsoft, why mm-hmm. would we not hack into any government agency or whatever it be? You know what I mean? Bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We fucking made it. And Jesus Christ. We got there, though. We yeah. did, bro. That is that we is wild, there. bro. That is absolutely... Uh... Okay. Uh, you, you ended up... I want to jump away from this. One, sure. I'm I'm absolutely baffled. You you obviously served some time. Yes, you served. You served the, how long did you have to go to jail for, or prison for, for this? So I went to uh, jail off of this. Technically, I only got booked, and I got off with almost nothing. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't okay with just getting off scot free. Why were you? What do you mean? I had to get in trouble a couple more times, of course. <laughs> yeah, you think that? You think? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He walked out the room and go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Where's the Durango? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck else did you How do? How do you think bro? you got this far? Yeah. How do you uh, vent out? How? Oh, uh, nothing good. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It, honestly, long story short, that's, that's that. That's, that's where I took a deep dive. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. You know, after being in all that, you know, you, you start having some bad thoughts where you're like, my time is ticking. I might as well hack everything in the world. 
Hack the planet. Hack yeah. everything. Like, okay, don't care. What did you, what did you hack? Uh, you, or can you not tell me? Yeah. You name it. I hacked you. I guaranteed I hacked something that had something to do with you and everybody in this room. That's dope. And I mean, it's not, I mean, it's sketchy. You know, it's it's terrible, for you. and I wouldn't encourage anybody to do that. Because said, I said that's dope. He said, no, no, it's terrible. No, actually, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, I, hey, on a on a on a on a scope. Okay, if we're looking at the moral aspect sure. of this, yes, it's fucked up. Yes, what you did hundred percent. I think you can come to terms with that at this point in your life. Yeah, which uh, leads me to the next. Well, what What would you do, Austin? I'm going to ask you in a scenario where you have built everything. Right, working on these superpowers, and now the one thing that you have spent, one thing, right, yeah. that kept you away from going from the deep end, is gone. Sure. What are you gonna do? No, man, you go. Uh, I I totally understand what you're you saying. Know? You you sent it at that point. You're like, fuck it all. I, I don't give it. a shit anymore. I'm out. Yep. Like I'm just gonna go. Yep. I'm gonna go berserk and do what the fuck I want to do, and nobody's gonna tell me I can't. Because if I can get away with that, then I can get away with this. Yeah. And, I mean, that, what's fucking worse than that, right? But, yeah. So it, w- it was the unknown factor because I always had that hanging above my head. Like yeah, I man. never had an answer from it. Is it do, you, do you regret any of it? All of it. Do you really? Um, I mean, all the way up to flying around in the Warthog with Anthony. Okay. <laughs> like, because you feel, do you feel like you found uh, that it's, it's negatively affected your life still mm, to this day? More uh, than it has positively impacted your, impacted your life, that experience? I think I heard a lot question. of people in the process. Sure. You know, and I think it would be selfish of me to say that it was worth it to say that, you know, because I, I mean, at the end of the day, I heard a lot of people, right? I, like, I, I guess, caused a I lot guess of where problems. I'm, from, from the story that you just told me, I don't see all the people that you fucked over. Yeah. I don't see all the people that you, sure. you know, you I mean, shafted left and right. I'll, we only see, hey, this is really cool. You fucked over Microsoft, yeah. like, rad. Yeah, you know? no. I get that. So, for sure, for sure. So, you come to terms with that. Yeah. But, uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. It's a, it, yeah. That's what that's it is. A, it's just a, a, it's, a, a it's a, it's a gas. <clears throat> it's a very, it's a gas. It's cause it's, you know, he had to, it probably would have been all okay. And you probably would have had no regret if you didn't have to copy, you know, mom's boyfriend's card. You have to deal yeah. with the family. You fuck the it, was, you know? it was too personal, bro. Yeah. It was too it, personal. It, 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 that's where it gets, a, that's where in the story, it kind of gets like, Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what you're on. Yeah, okay, that's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But not, not only it's that, not man. a good look for sure. Okay. Yeah, and in any way you, I mean, as 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 cool as it is, as you try to pivot it as like a badass thing, I mean, no employers are gonna look at you and really be like, "All right, good yeah. job, you're hired because you broke into Microsoft." Okay, so what did you do? Well, Wait, I, what'd you do with all that? I mean, I had to just take that inside, right? Like, how do you take something that bad and really work on it and one i mean it's it was such a tragic thing it had to been an identifiable thing for me right Mm -hmm. like that story was so crazy it has to be told you know i mean beyond just a wire magazine that for sure somebody posted you know what i mean like the impact that some random guy can have over a halo 2 game if you think about it at the end of the day Mm -hmm. you know that is insane yeah, that that's that could affect a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. And I and I and the crazy part is is that like growing up, I knew that I was having that effect on other people too. Mm-hmm. You know, I had fans that would start messaging me and I would, you know, yeah. coach them too. For you sure. know what I mean? And and it became like a big thing. So like, I mean, after all that, I felt like I really broke my integrity with gaming. Mm-hmm. You know, because Go back to all this. I was just a kid that loved video gaming and the sense of video gaming in itself. Right. And then it takes a dark turn. For you know sure. what I mean? But I always will love video games, probably forever. And I don't always want it to be that dark thing. Yeah. So I was like, how am I going to go back and rebuild myself just as a gamer? I was like, well, I'm just going to play competitive games. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to try to be as normal as anybody other gamer, really to go back for a moment. You know? Do you, uh, do you do you find yourself having a hard time just playing a game normal now? Yeah, and I'd be lying to tell you if I did. Yeah, <laughs> you just like you're like I can't fucking do this, dude. It's yeah, no. I mean, especially when you know like how they work at yeah. some point. I mean, know, and don't and get it. And he's at you know in a percentage of gamers like he's been ranked in Fortnite. He's yeah. been ranked in Call of Duty. He's a superior gamer. 
you know, and for him not to cross over that line and be the most superior is like, that's crazy. I'd be taking it. I'd be doing it. You know? One, you are you still, do you owe anything from that financially? I, I can, you have to pay any of that shit I back? can say I am, I am away from everything. I've fully transitioned away from everything. Did it take you a while to do oh, that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. No, it was, it was a big ongoing <clears throat> thing. So you currently are running now. You have a cybersecurity company. Yep. Okay. How, when did this transition happen? You're like, yep. you know what? I'm going to stop fucking people and I'm going to start <laughs> no, fucking seriously. helping them. No, seriously. You know? um, I, I mean, I'm sure you've heard the term three strikes, you're out. Yeah. Like I was on that third strike. For and, sure. And I knew like I was going to get screwed if I did anything. Right. You know, when you have a probation officer that's that's looking over your head and, you know, you have to do everything. When you... I mean, I heard about those kids, but I was never that kid. So if you, you can't, I mean, don't, I don't, I don't know what kid. you feel like, but that right. sounds miserable. You don't want to be that kid. And for anybody out there, don't be that kid. And anybody that's going through that, you know, I feel for you. I've been through that and it sucks. You, you know? can always change it around and you do can. the right thing. Yeah. You can. And that's, that's what it was. And I would always hear these stories of other people that would get into trouble and turn their life around, you know, whether it be computer crime or whatever type of crime. Right. You know what I mean? It's, right. That's a possibility. It's not over for you just because you did something. You know, people mm -hmm. change and they learn, especially after all the punishment is done. You know what I mean? There's no reason why they should be punished for the rest of their life for something that they've done. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think it takes the true integrity for somebody to come up, even like myself, even on a podcast and say that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? To own up to what I've done and to be like, hey, I've learned from that. And you know for sure I'm not going to risk that again because of how deep I am. Yeah. You know, there's more chances of me getting the life sentence than you if you did something now mm -hmm. you know what i mean no man you you go through this point in life where you realize you 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 well i mean i i feel like we've all been there to some extent yeah you know every everyone's level is different but sure mm -hmm. you get a little bit too deep in that hole of mm -hmm. we'll just call it fuck or shit you know mm -hmm. whatever it is the fuck it the, the fuck the fuck it the you know, we, we've all we've all fucked up you know you've all Down uh, bad. <clears throat> i guess at different levels but you know, you got to crawl out of it somehow and you got to yeah. move past it and you got to learn from it. And that story, that moment that you went through, I, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out one, no offense, yeah, but you, <laughs> it took you a lot more to learn than anybody else would have taken to learn in the sense of like, but I also think in that, in what you were going through, you went through this point where you're just like, I'm not really doing anything bad. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the difference. Mm -hmm. I'm not really like, hurting anyone i was telling myself that yeah a lot for sure so, you know it was always like well i'll do this but you know what's really going to happen at the end of the day right you know i would i would start really start talking to myself that way R rationalizing acting bad is convincing bad. yourself convincing yourself i do i do that a lot too man i do that a lot with a lot of shit that i deal with now too and i i'm in fact i almost find myself convincing my her I must find, I get that. Yeah. I find myself convincing myself that certain things are okay when they're not okay. Yeah. Just because you want a certain outcome. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like the mind works in a super powerful way. Mm -hmm. And the mind is capable of pretty much doing anything that it puts it. You know, I could be like, yeah. hey, I'm going to fucking dream of something. I dreamt of all this shit that I'm doing right now. Yeah. And well, I didn't dream of it. I dreamt of a lot of things, but this is, I dreamt of, of, happiness and you know health and and family and flourishing in my life and mm -hmm. being able to be successful mm -hmm. whatever that means yeah but i'm living the dream i guess you could say for sure um i still work a lot but i'm living hey, the dream you're and building I'm enjoying something it, probably you know? doing work you love though <clears throat> yeah 100 percent. meaningful work what i mean by this is the mind is powerful right exactly. your mind is capable of doing a lot of things and it's something that i feel like is is it, it's also capable of convincing itself that certain things are okay when exactly. they're not okay. Exactly. Yes. Hundred yeah. percent. So you you moved away from that, obviously that negative portion of your life, that bad mm -hmm. shit, into what you do now, which is again, you you run a cyber a security, security company. consulting company. Yeah. Okay. So how so, how did that work, and how the fuck did you get people to trust you? Yeah. It's, it's hard, right? So I think uh, one of, I had a, a mentor, like one of my first mentors was somebody named Robert Rhodes, who okay. was an attorney who actually represented me in all my cases. So I 
met this attorney mm-hmm. and you know he realized I was a smart kid. I was just in a really bad predicament. For you know? sure. And he said to me, you know, the table's always always open, you know, for you if you ever want to come back and just, you know, kind of restart things. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really know what that meant, you know, but it always just kind of sat with me. And then a year went by and like when I was probably like in the deepest of everything, you know, and I was like, man, this is this is not going to work for me. I don't I don't want to take this route in life, you know, because at some point you have that crossroads. Right. You know, you can either choose to go deeper or you can choose to go up. Mm hmm. And sometimes, you know, going up is a lot farther than going down. So yeah. you have to really, really question about going up. You got to work for it, man. Yeah. Yeah, shit's not going to be given to you. So I remember that day I called him and I stepped right back into his office. Like it was like the last day that we had talked. Mm-hmm. And he says, I picked up that conversation right where we left it off like nothing had happened. Really? And I said, hey, I'm ready to take you up on that offer. Yeah. We didn't really know what that meant. We said, all right, show up tomorrow. Okay. Said, all right. Showed up the next day, said, hey, I have this blog that's broken. Fix it. Sure. Sat around, fixed his website. Hey, we're losing phone calls. Help us get some SEO and leads going. Mm -hmm. Say less. Sat there, figured it out. I mean, I hacked his business in a good way. Right. You know, I figured out the stuff that was working for businesses and how to consult for online marketing and doing stuff that was other, you know, positive things on a computer that wasn't just malicious hacking. You know what yeah. I mean? So sitting down in that office, he gave me a space in that office just to sit down and clear my clear my head and he'd give me tasks if I always wanted something. Mm-hmm. If I needed a couple hundred bucks, he'd give me that. You know, He'd give me a task to fill out. It wasn't free work. It wasn't even easy work at some times. You know, right. I'd be there up late. So you're almost playing as like a white hat. Oh, hundred percent. You know, you know I mean, and think about it. These, these attorney businesses are also like big targets for cyber attacks and mm-hmm. you name it, you know? And so I'm, I'm also trying to help defend all that too at the same time. Mm-hmm. And he's also having a lot of clients coming in that are having to deal with attacks. And I'm now also have the credibility because he also told me to get my certifications. That was a big thing in my court work. He told me, what you need to do to prove yourself is go get your IT certification so you can show the court that you're actually doing something and not sitting home and hacking all day. Right. So very I went and hard I, certifications too. Yep. So very, I went and I achieved hard. those and I did that. So having those certifications, I was able now to write uh, forensic documents for court reports and oh, doing wow. so. I was now able to make a couple 500 bucks here and there. Sure. You know, I was able to make some legitimate money now, you know, mm-hmm. for once. And it felt good, you know, and, and helping somebody instead of doing, you know, bad work. It was good work and helping yeah. somebody and building a relationship, a business relationship. Do you feel like that shift happened when like like when you felt like there was you didn't have anything left? Or do you feel like that shift happened because you just decided one day you're like, you know what, I'm tired of I'm tired. like what caused that shift for you? Was it the guy that said that to you? Come well, to the table well, always he, open. He hit me with the. Do you always want to be on the run? Like, is that, do you really want to be alone? Sure. Like, are you okay so with this having, guy though? This guy was yeah. probably the biggest impact. He was, to your, he was a cool. big, big, What's his big, name? Robert Rhodes, Robert Rhodes. Yep. Out of Seattle. That's attorney. Dope. Yeah. Thanks Robert. Really cool guy. Shout out Rob. Shout out Robert. Shout he, out Rob. He's Love you. amazing. Hell That's paintballer. Uh, so this, Rose. this guy was, was your catalyst. We'll call it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To he, he really was. Transformation. Yep. And he helped you, you know, I, I think. Yeah. And probably just gave you the tools that you needed to do good shit with yeah. your skills. So I think, you know, I'm a big believer that there's a lot of good that can come of a, a lot of bad shit, mm-hmm. you know. And as much as you want to say that you should regret anything that you did, you know, it may have been the concept may have been fucked up, dude, but you probably learned a lot. Oh, it was and a that's, big, big learning. That's 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 what you could take from that. You learned a fucking shit ton, and now like where you are today is wild. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yep. You um, you used those yeah. skills to be able to combat the opposite, which is dope. Yep. And you probably feel good about it too. I do. You feel better about it. I do feel way better about it. <clears throat> so how did you? Where where did you like one? What is the company at now? Yeah. Like, do you have employees? Are you just by yourself? Yeah. So you know we're we're three people deep. So it's all just uh, pretty much we take a lot of contracting people. So like whatever job you may have, it may need a lot of outsourcing for different type of like code review or code analysts or Mm -hmm. any type of like vulnerability management. We do stuff like that. So if you have any type of 
um, computer problem, and I'm going to mean like that in really general terms, sure. we solve that problem. Yeah. If you need, if there is a need for something, like if you need a hacker, I'm going to be honest, that's what we are. Right. We'll figure it out. If you want to know if you can be hacked, we can figure that out too. That's wild, dude. Yeah. That's wild. That's what we do. So it's you, you do it with him too? Somewhat, yeah. 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 Did he teach you everything? Oh man, you can't learn everything. You can't learn all that. <laughs> you can't learn all that. It is. A, it is a deep dive cybersecurity. Yeah. What's it? What is? Uh, what is something that I don't know that would scare the shit out of me? <laughs> <laughs> me and Armand met a guy in jail that wants to take over the whole entire world <laughs> and gave us and gave us the whole entire <laughs> battle plan of it, and we went into our cells for break time and read it over. And met in the morning and probably had the funniest day of our lives. And this guy only had one leg. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute bonkers. Okay. Yeah. So this dude wants we, to we, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you got to revert now. I mean. <laughs> you gotta explain. Well, there was a, when we were in jail, we were actually, um, we were in there with some interesting people, sure. to say the least. Sure. Um, and to figure out, you know, to survive in that kind of environment, you kind of have to have someone. So we we messed pretty well when we found out who we were. Like, like, all right, what are you doing here? Why don't man? you tell them how we met? Like yeah. how I came up to you. Remember that day? So you you were in jail. What the fuck were you in jail for? Dude? Uh, DUIs and drugs. <laughs> okay. Um, just uh, just, just no- up. normal shit. Yeah, really normal <laughs> shit. But 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 I really I did it all in like <laughs> average, like a, a a short amount of time. You know, and like we were in jail with guys that were having standoffs with police for thirty six hours with a AK forty seven. Yeah. We were we were with guys stuff. that you know. That did that way harder somebody, things. You know, I mean, I mean, a lot of terrible. heroin, a lot of, lot of gnarly, gnarly shit that me and Armand really never been around. Rough sure. people. I mean, rough people. And you can def, you definitely found that. So when we, me and Armand became friends, we, uh, we definitely wanted to get out, pass the jail. <laughs> and how do, how do you do that? <laughs> so Jesus I wasn't anywhere near. So there are these, there are these tablets. <laughs> There are these tablets that had just, just released so get this. in get, the jail. Let, let me just say, so I get booked, right? Mm-hmm. The day after I get booked, they announce this iPad like program, where they bring out these tablets for people that are booked in jail. Yeah. So you, t- for what? You can FaceTime. You can it's, get these tablets. You can text. You can play games. It's a controlled tablet, but they're basically watching you. The police are yeah, watching you. But sure. it's basically well, another thing to pass time. But and you know, that's that's the way they pitched it. But they the reality was they're they making money. The they're, they're making, making money behind it. Money. Yeah, a lot of money. You know, you sure. can buy games. You can buy certain things. But our mom was like, "I'm not trying to buy anything." Yeah. So he gets to a high score on a random game, configures the tablet some way to get past the security, and is now on YouTube. Can get onto Pornhub if you wanted to. I He's mean, the you man name it. in jail. We're now, get on we're Pornhub. Now, you now have a working tablet. I mean, me and Armand are literally like this, bumping new Gunna album, Young Thug album, and everybody's like, "What?" Like, like, every, it, like it got so hot. Android. Because Listen, it, yeah, yeah. It and then hot. they patched it. Oh my! Well, gosh, it had to bro. get broke again. Why not? He he beats it again the next day, and he goes, "Dude, doll, all you have to do is just turn the tablet to the side, and it opens up a more programming space." And so now he's working on the tablet, but you can only run it on the side like this. When I saw that like happen, when I'm down in jail and I'm trying to explain it to my friends, and they're like, "What? What?" I, that's when I knew. <laughs> This relationship had, it wasn't normal. Like this friendship was yeah. not normal. Like when you go into jail, you don't you don't bring anybody out of there. They're all dirt bags. But we talk about it all the time. It's like yeah, if we do, we would go to jail again because we would never met just, each other. Yeah, yeah we, for sure. We were like, man, it yeah, that, you gotta bring something away from me. It. It Jesus was, Christ, you guys. Yeah, it was. We were down in the du- dirtiest, the, the, darkest depression war- time. Yeah, me and him. I mean. Looking, I was looking at five years. He was looking I was at unknown. twenty yeah. to ten. So, yeah, you know, it was just it, it was, was unreal. It was, it was the life of the unknown. Yeah, that's the and, scary part. And you're just part. in this 
cell and you just get these times out and you know thank god he was there i mean i've never been bro don't I said, yeah, don't. Yeah, Never I don't have any plans to. Yeah, I'll, please. I'll, I'll let you know I, from experience. If I was going to go to jail, I would have gone to kill, jail before I had kids. Good. <laughs> don't worry. I got if, babies. If you go, though, you will that. have music within the first three days. Yeah, so we, got you, no, we, you, we got you, you on the movies. We got you on the music. As long you as they're too. still running, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> and you know we're good with drones now. So yeah. we'll just, you know, we can make some airdrops. Nathan would have loved to be here right now, by the way. Nathan is my one of my best friends. He... uh he was the guy that flew that drone at that event with oh, you. Oh, yes. He said that you guys were just the dopest dudes. Like, I like him a lot. He's like, I need to buy some more freaking batteries because I don't know as many batteries as you guys have. Or oh, something. yeah. Dude. We like him. He's cool. <laughs> anyway, is there something that makes you uncomfortable yeah, when you so, sleep? Um, I'll say this. So uh, I was under like, so, you know, in, have you played Grand Theft Auto? Mm-hmm. You know, Grand Theft Auto when you get stars? Sure. And you know, there's like five max stars. 100%. So I probably had that on a cyber level on that, on me. Okay. So you can imagine any intelligence, off, like any <laughs> intelligence agency and malicious hackers now looking at me, right? For anything. Right. So there were schemes to break into my house to even get stuff from me. Like there was real, real people like trying to, one, do anything they can to get me or do anything. You mm-hmm. name it. Right? You heard of swatting? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah, how many yeah. times? How many times you get swatted? Oh, like you fucking name it. Eight times. Eight just, times. Swat just comes into your house and they just fucking. My you're like, poor dad. My poor dad. He would get so mad every time it would happen. <laughs> and, and <I laughs> like it's a normal thing. Yeah, can you believe it? Can you believe it? No, listen to this. Like, listen to this. <laughs> this this fucker. This guy named Jester. God, I fucking hate this guy. He was this fucking rival <laughs> hacker. He even shit. has a name, dude. No, it's Jester. fucking terrible. You no. know what that is? That's that's Top Gun. Like, the Jester. Jester, bro. Jester. That's the, that's the head commander guy, yes. right? Everyone's Jester. got Jester. Jester. Listen to this. This, Hollywood. this fucker would call my home phone and have conversations with my dad for hours telling him about all the crazy shit that I would do with hacking. What, and why? my dad would just sit there and eat just it eat it up. <laughs> and then Best fucking friend. boom, bust in the door. <laughs> Jester just told me everything. What the fuck you're doing? What the fuck? How does Jester <laughs> <What's laughs> <going on? laughs> <laughs> Jester? <laughs> so, I mean, you, you name it. I mean, people were trying to hit me with all ways to take me back. Like when you're when you're on that level, you know what I mean. So when I um Jesus, dude. On the on the falling out, when I actually got served with a warrant, so they they came in, they served my dad with a warrant at, at 4 a.m. at mm-hmm. our house, and it was for digital trespass. I'll never forget that. They digital digital trespass. trespass. Okay. It's like, okay. So That's this new. lead investigator from, from Redmond uh, mm-hmm. Cyber Department came out, you know, and they went and they raided my whole room. You know, they just went in, they just came in, and they sweeped and took everything. Did they take Everything. Everything. Mm. Left it clean. Computers, everything. But I mean, messy clean. I mean, just fucking. They just came in and destroyed you. So all the movies when you see those people roll up in there, they just fucking rummaging through shit. They just just ransacked it. Nothing, huh? And then just fucking left. They take everything important? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I had a bunch of, like, XDKs at that point. I mean, like. I mean, the worst part is that they just took everything and left and didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Like, they just served me a thing. I just, like, yep. Speeding ticket? Yeah. (laughs) And uh, I mean. I, I'll never forget that that night because it was so crazy. I was playing uh, GTA before it was out. So I was playing GTA 5. Like, I was up at night, of course, right? And they rung the doorbell. And instantly I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Why? Damn. Turn around. <laughs> and, then, and then I hear a knock falling after. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> and I went to my computer and I pulled everything and pulled the battery and just fucking walked away. I was like, yep. And just played dumb. And really? just played dumb. Just wow. played complete dumb. And like knowing that I had, I mean, I, I had encrypted a lot of stuff on that computer that was going to be probably used against me at some point. So that saved me. Like, that's what saved you. Yeah. You guys believe in yeah. aliens? Low yeah. Key. I mean, aren't we confirmed now? Yeah, we're confirmed. Are we confirmed? We're pretty I confirmed, can't say, dude. But We're pretty confirmed. Those people that, you know, fly in the planes and they're seeing that thing that just takes off in a lateral movement. Are you talking about like the tic tac? Yeah. 
The Tic Tac one. The Tic Tac one. That one's got me sold. I like that. But back to what would scare you, right? Okay, what would scare me? So these agencies, these police agencies, they Mm -hmm. have tools, okay? So when they raided my, my whole house, right, they took my phone and they asked me for my PIN code on my phone. I said, okay, fine. What are you going to do, right? Mm-hmm. At least you know, like, my phone has been tampered with. Right. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not going to play dumb. Sure. But I gave them my phone. They're like, all right, we'll give it back to you. They didn't give it back to me. Two days later, they call me. Show up the Redmond Police Department. They give me my phone back. And uncle? <laughs> Fucking infected. They put malware on my phone, and they thought they were slick with it. Oh, that's right. And it was just not even, that's not right. even good. And how did you Very find honest. it? How did you? Not f- even. Was good. it a camera? <laughs> what was it? What was it? It's so funny. It they was put malware on your phone. Yeah, it's so bad. I mean, like, it's so dumb to me to think that, like, one, you're gonna do that. I mean, of course, shoot your shot. I mean, being being a police officer, right? Like use any tool you got, but like you're going to do that to a hacker and think that he's not going to figure it out. Right. You know what I mean? Stupid. So my phone would get a permanent blue screen and a permanent purple screen at random times. And I would Google it and find nothing on it. Absolute nothing on it. And I'm like, okay, this is fucking weird. Hmm. Guaranteed. I mean, this is like within the first three hours I'm noticing this change. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't believe this. So I go to the Apple store and I take my I take my whole warrant with me and I find this guy at the Genius Bar that's really cool. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I have a story from you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> he lays, he he lays right? this on him. <laughs> I, I, I basically <laughs> say to this guy, bro, I'm being tracked. He probably thought I was fucking batch. I said, bro, I'm pretty sure I'm being tracked by the government. I hacked a military simulator. Uh, I hacked the Xbox one. I give you whatever you want, bro. Just, just look at these papers. They're legit. And I just shuffled the papers to him. I said, my phone's definitely bugged. Can you please help me out? He said, Oh, finally somebody that knows something. He said, let me show you the diagnostic tab. And he runs a diagnostic tab on my phone and we can see things that, you know, normally you can't see. For sure. For sure. So he's like, Oh, well, it's definitely jailbroken. I'm like, well, my phone wasn't jailbroken before. Okay. Okay. Boom. What's on it? An app called housearrest.app, and it's persistent on everything, and it's causing my phone to crash at random time. Housearrest.app. That's what they name it? That's what they had the file name. Wow. That was infecting my phone and causing it to crash. (laughs) Ridiculous. Unbelievable. Crashing because the code was fucking terrible. So the guy was super <laughs> cool, and he was like, he's like, bro, I feel for you. I know you're in a predicament. I mean, like, you're just taking a new phone, but just please don't make it happen again. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to go back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but what that app can do, Nuts. let me tell you what that app can do. That app can listen to you at all times. Yeah. It can look through your camera at all times. That's what you know. Without it turning can the light on. It can record all your phone calls. It knows all your phone calls, and it knows where you are on a map at all times. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. It's creepy. Do you think they can do that just without having your phone, though? Yes. So, yes. Now they can. Good. But it's how much is it worth? Good lead. You know? Good I, Good. I, 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 was, I was expecting you to do so. <laughs> I was going to ask you next. Yeah. Back, same question. Yeah, so these whole things, I mean, they, they go down all the way to computers themselves, right? Not just phones, but computer themselves. Like, people can send you things, and you can run an app, Right. That will turn your webcam on without showing you the light. That's on. I think I've heard of that. It's very common. I've heard of that. It's that. more common than you think, especially really? on PC. Like there's, I mean, any desk. No, even on Mac. Like Mac it's, nowadays, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very very crazy. So okay, <laughs> I want to get let's get crazy here. <laughs> let's get deep. Well, this is, this is deep, but are we allowed to smoke in here? What do you got, like a, a vape, vape or something? Yeah. yeah, I don't care, man. You're fine. <laughs> do your thing. Vape life, bro. <laughs> when are you going to quit, bro? Wait hours for this. Just when, a quick one. When are you going to quit? I used to do it, dude. I did it for years. Just cut this out, because I don't do it. This is his. Yeah, you're fine. 
I only smoke because my coworkers buy cigarettes. I used to. Uh, I did. I Thank smoked. you. <laughs> Thank you. So you're not leaving to California. <laughs> my, you're not leaving. My wife will murder you. <laughs> so, business wise, on a business yes. level, stock business. Yeah, let's let's do it. We don't. We don't need to get. I mean, sure. So like that was that was that was that was enough, bro. That was more than enough for that was deliciously no. wonderful. Like the 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 fuck. I mean, every aspect of that makes me go. My life is fucking cakewalk compared <laughs> to what the hell you just went through, bro. <laughs> like that's wild. I mean, you put yourself through it, but like yeah, that I is, sure uh, did. It was you know my own. Experience. That is a story for sure. Yeah, it deserves on a business level. Now you you obviously you run this this cybersecurity. Mm-hmm. How many? customers do you have typically on a basis do you have like a massive following or is this something that you are you are still growing you're still working no we're on? definitely still in the growing phase like yeah. we have a how lot long did of, you start it like this is less than a year that yeah we've been up that's and dope officially. dude that's dope i feel like it's a it's it's growing pains are hard yeah yeah they are i mean it's it's cool though like for less than a year to be over to like help more than 100 people like i didn't think i'd be able to reach that number yeah just off of you know this short amount what's of your time. biggest struggle so far Honestly, like what's something you're looking at and you're like, fuck, dude, this is hard. It's the fucking writing. Writing? Dude, writing I, what? Like you, with security, you have to do a lot of documentation. Yeah. Like you have to do a lot of writing and you have to sound good and professional. You uh, know? And it's like, tough. it's just something you that know, I just have. You know, just using ChatGPT for that shit? I mean, we've definitely come accustomed. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I can't give away no trade secrets. It's my best friend now, bro. There's only so much you can do. Yeah, you know? there is. Spelling, punctu- yeah. punctuation, uh, vocabulary. It's like me and Armand find it's tough for us. But also, yeah, it's, it's really tough. Documenting your hacking process is really boring. Yeah. And takes some of the, it's the more fun to do it. The fun out of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. It's, it's like, like you I, ever hear you want to be a cop till you have to do all the paperwork. How how do, how much do you feel like ChatGPT is going to change the the fucking special. realm of of the industry or just the world in general? Because I will tell you, one, my wife, mm-hmm. uh, I wish I wish she was here. You guys would love the shit out of her. She's great, but my wife fucking hates technology and the growth of technology and how What's it has changed. Devin, Devin, Devs, Devs, love. Uh, she, she is. What's that? <laughs> she have a dev kit? I don't know, but you can get one though, right? We'll get her one. Okay. Yeah, yeah cool. we I are. I don't, I don't think we're allowed to have one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just, what are you talking about? Wait. Sorry to be the words. Okay. Ching ching. Uh, let's cut that yeah. part out. One forty three oh four. Carter. But uh, no, dude. She she ha- she has a really hard time with the advances in technology and how it impacts the, her overall life now. Because I feel like even growing up with our kids, right? Uh huh. As parents, the we, tablet, dude. I mean, yeah, well, one, we, we are very, very good about that shit, right? Oh, you snap it? Well, just I don't. I've just recently inter- introduced my son to a tablet, uh-huh. uh, to to an iPad. Yeah. Play, but he does educational things. Like he'll do like how to draw the, the fucking alphabet with his yeah. finger and like the capital A, the, you know, things like how that. Old he's, is he? he's almost four. Almost four. Dude, what about during dinner time? But no, definitely not during no. dinner time, bro. Yeah, cut it so out. you take you take you take your son out well, to dinner at a restaurant, you know, where there's other people. Absolutely not. That's <laughs> absolutely thank God. Not. I okay, so I, I serve. <laughs> what I, is society coming to when you oh, fucking? You, you wouldn't believe no, it. They, what they do is they take the t- they'll take the tablet, give it to their kids just to be quiet, oh, so they can God. order, they can drink, and they can have a good time. Yo, I I've. Oh man, that is no, so man, it's, gnarly. It's a really tough time because I'll tell you, this is a tough time as a this is, this is tough as a parent to have this because one, my kids are not quiet, bro. Yeah. Like I went to I went up the street uh-huh. to a Mexican restaurant the other day and I was trying to just have a normal dinner with my wife. I have a one year old and a four year old, oh, right? Perfect. Wow. One, we very rarely get an opportunity. One, I don't remember the last time I went on a date with my life wife, by the way. But, wow. uh, you know, we're very we worked. All the time, we're hard workers. Yeah. We're big on family. We mm-hmm. want to any time that days that we get off, we want to spend it with our kids. I mean, you know, that's and awesome. She does the same thing. Like we, bo- we do this together. So we're both just tagging out. You know, that's mm-hmm. cool. we 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 just recently hired a nanny, which is really really tough because you have to trust somebody. He, well, yeah, yeah, trusting is is huge. But anyway, my point to there's this restaurant thing, which is which is a good one. But my kids are loud as shit. Mm-hmm. I just choose not to bring them out anymore because mm-hmm. they are they you you go through this kind of phase. We did it with our four year old, 
uh, my one year old now is in the screaming phase where he'll just randomly just go Mah! like mm-hmm. fucking yeah. loud as shit, bro. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you're trying to ease the people next to you look at you like you're like an, you're crazy. Yeah, like you're, you're an absolute out. idiot. Yeah. Like, like, like you, you were yelling. Why yeah. are you bringing that? Why are you bringing that person out? You know, yeah. like why? Respectfully, I understand. If I was if I was fifty years old, I was sipping on my margarita, and there's a fucking one Cranky. year old baby screaming next to me. Like I got two choices. I mean, I'm either going to be like, I don't want to deal with this shit right now. I didn't come with this or like, Hey, I'll play and do it. And I'll scream back at you. And that's what I would do. (laughs) 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 But uh, (laughs) regardless, what I'm getting at here is no, we don't, we, we definitely don't do that. We try and play into our kids. uh, Actual one. My kid hasn't, doesn't know how to work the tablet other than what I tell him to do. Uh Like as far as like, drawing just letters wait. and stuff but just wait. a tough a tough portion as a parent now comparatively to when you were as a you know years and years ago when technology wasn't a thing is i would be failing my kids not to show them how to use this shit exactly because Man. isn't that gonna that's gonna if you're showing them now they're gonna be more educated more better at that because you know the tablet's gonna be in high school probably it and, is bro and, that's all he works on now. exactly He's in high school and now. so if you if you're not giving it to your kid and you're not and then they finally get there and they're not grown up with it. Mm-hmm. Th- you almost put them in that situation. One hundred percent, bro. And then yeah. they don't. That's have the why. Now, the, that's why. If now putting a kid you, in school right now is so hard. Like, I mean, then you have other now, things. Now to this deal is with. crazy because this is what my parents have told me too. Yeah, they're like, we wanted to stop you to using computers so bad, but we couldn't because we knew what you could do and what you're capable of. Like yeah. the smart board. Yeah. Remember when they're. So when they were just coming out with technology, they were getting rid of the whiteboard mm-hmm. for when, when we were in school. Mm-hmm. And they came out with something called the smart board. Right. And that was just getting introduced into high schools. Oh, my. That was a shit show. Our teachers yeah. couldn't use them at that all. Was they had no idea what they were doing. Show, you know? Dude, I, just, I just think that, it, that, one, technology is crazy, right? And it's capable of so much. It's capable of, like mm-hmm. we just talked about right now. One, I need to give a huge thank you to our audience. We to like i appreciate you guys a ton we have had uh today i've been watching this clip and it has been blowing the fuck up like a hundred and it's at 160,000 views right I now it's 140 when you guys that. got here it's right rock. It's crazy it's, it's just the start so it's, it's, it's just cool right start. it's cool but technology is capable of so, one i put some fucking work into that shit i spent hours no, on those clips bro I also look at this place yeah this, this is, place yeah, is this amazing is right. this yeah, is nice. look i i mean i love this this is why i want to be here thank you Technology is cool. It's rad. But how do we how do we grab how do we how fucking do we, yes. straddle that bitch yes. and keep it keep it on a rainbow? You because yeah. you can't like that, right? It's you tough. Man. You, right. You can't because the next thing is gonna be uh the AI ro- robots is honestly it's the next thing. Flying cars. I mean right. I mean, yeah, that's it it seems like it's out of reach when you say like flying cars and stuff like that, but then you kind of think about it's like, is it like that far away? You know what I'm saying? Well, no. It's it's so uh, go to space or go to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, bro, I, I like space. space. You don't want to implode. <laughs> Fucking no, Christ, ocean no. Gate. please no. <laughs> I was just telling my wife about this, bro. <laughs> you know where that the headquarters is, right? Every, no. every, every Washington. Jesus right Christ, now, Austin, we do you want to get in? We could go half on it, and we could just run this thing. I mean, like, I got good ideas, man. Come on, we could turn this into a, like a I deep, could, a deep submarine hacking device. I Come cannot. On, I Come cannot. on, dude, dude, we don't even have to go in it. We, you know, we got a little controller as on long as land. Somebody else is going in. I don't give a Log- fuck. No, Log- on logis- land, logistic, on. logistic. So you guys, you guys, guys think it imploded though? Oh no, one hundred percent. We know it's got to be it, right? One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred. Or the aliens took it. Or it got hacked. I mean, got controllers. Or what? <laughs> I mean, think about it. It uh, was it was look, ran off of a hold, controller. No, so no, what, no. Reverse. It was ran off a Windows machine. Ugh. So anybody, any known, like well known organization, could have infected that machine, particularly, and spoofed so, anything. So you think that they uh, didn't want anybody to know what was under there? Four no, four billionaires. I, think, I, think, I just don't. I think there was probably maybe some act. If that's what really took place, then something behind the scenes is taking place. You know what I'm saying? 100. But I but I highly doubt that's what took yeah, place. 
It's I mean, a, that's, a, that's a little far fetched. Yeah. James I'm not going to be that crazy down. guy. Yeah. James Cameron went down there in IMAX. I don't get why you can't just go fucking see it in IMAX. <laughs> what do you mean? I want to look through a shitter window. What do you mean? Yeah. I was going to say, like, I, saw, I saw the picture of this. We're talking, you guys. Can you tell the audience what the fuck we're talking about here? It's it's Ocean Gate. So it, was a, it was a submarine. Sorry. It was a submersible, not a submarine that imploded. And it had a bunch of billionaires on it. Had four billionaires. And the CEO of the company. And the son of one of the billionaires, 19 years old. That's rough, man. Who almost was was almost forced to participate onto it. Mm. As a father, Austin, how do you feel about that? Like that that billionaire forced his son, I mean, pretty much to come on that ride. Like do do you let your kid go? Yeah, like to Do, see the Titanic where they could see it in IMAX? Oh, well, I, I mean, you're <laughs> asking me some very intricate, deep questions here. One, as I would, I, it, it, one, I couldn't tell you how I would feel if my child fucking died on that. Like, I would right. feel devastated. But you would went I out let with my them. kid do that? But you went out yeah. with him at least. Yeah, I would let my kid yeah, do that. Yeah, right? You would let, I would, I mean, I. What, uh, dude, life, you're going life, to listen, 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 listen. That's the way listen. to go, though. Life is about fucking risks. That's bro. the way to go. You don't sit around. And you don't just wait for shit to happen for you. You need to fucking take the leaps, man. I agree. The second that you that you sit and you wait for stuff to happen is the second that things go stagnant. Things yeah. just are nothing's gonna happen unless Clip you're willing that. to make I the fucking. I knew he was back. buying Ocean Gate. I, I knew, knew it. it. I knew <laughs> it. <laughs> but uh, no, actually, the uh, the business is uh, what's shut down now. The yeah, website yeah, doesn't yeah, even work. Down. You. No. Um, if like if you, I mean they, that's that's one of these. Yeah, I mean come on, let's exactly. be honest. Like exactly. that that guy knew what he was doing, and I'm pretty sure strategically he's like, if this thing's gonna go, I'm gonna go out with it. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars per person. person. Come on, man. That's an insane amount. <sighs> of money. I mean, honestly, could you live knowing that you charge somebody and it did murder them though? Like if that was what? No, like, I, I would have to get in that with that. I, uh, to be honest, okay, I would okay, have okay. To, to put it all your depends. Name on it, you know, yeah, I'd have to get on that with that. No, it definitely depends because it depends like. One, like, if anybody got hurt making fucking coffee, like, for any reason, like, right now, there's no, like, in my head, there's no way that somebody's getting hurt. Somebody's, somebody's dying from this shit, right? Let's mm-hmm. say somebody that robs the store. That guy was thinking store. the same thing. He's going, he's going, listen, I made this 100% safe. There okay. is nothing that's going to fucking right. happen. Can I hack you? Right? Yeah. No, I mean, you just said you made it safe. Yeah. Made what safe? Never mind. You want to make the coffee, coffee, not I the said website. No one could <laughs> die. Okay. The no one's imploding up there making coffee, bro. <laughs> but, but, but he could hack your Keurig machine to just keep on yeah, pre- overflowing, not work. The pressure machine went off, you know? Water machine, we can easily. This is ad- real life, bro. You guys are fucking on another level, dude. You guys it's are crazy. Wild. I want to be on your it's level. Ne- it's, just, it's, it's just, just the, like a fun dude, level to be on. I feel like when, I feel like you just mind fuck people all day. <laughs> you mean, just like, you're like, hey, did you just get a text message <laughs> from someone from the area code 702-155-3012? You're like, is it from Gerald? <laughs> did he just send you your exact location and a picture of his butthole? <laughs> 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 how how did you know that? <laughs> I'm Gerald. I'm Ger- <laughs> you hold it to see the live view. Just to check. <laughs> dude, no, fucking you guys are you guys are nutty, dude. This is rad. This has been rad, you guys. This is thanks for having us, man. This is yeah. really fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up because my wife is gonna kill me if I take any longer. Well, we, we gotta got take about some two kids and a half home. hours to get home. Anyway. Yeah, you yeah, just got just three, and a half, three hours, two and a half. But whatever the car it is. drives itself. No, that, Did you that's know that? Hey, yo, yo, uh, no, yeah. Before we what stop, what you driving here? He hacked. Oh yeah, I gotta yeah, tell, tell, it, tell it. All right. Tell it. So he what? gets <laughs> he gets a car. Right. Our whole goal for the boys kind of was to get a Tesla. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One of the boys got to have a Tesla. Yeah. Which one of them did? And the, boy. the boy. The boy. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on. Lock my Let's door. Go, right? right? And so, well, well, once the boy got the Tesla, I was like, all right, well, I'm on. Don't get a Tesla. You know, <laughs> my boy's already got one. He buys the sick Camry, right? You know, insides flush, but hacks the Camry, basically inputs his own technology that does what Tesla does and drives for you, brakes for you. Does everything, but get this, it's way better than Teslas. We test, we tested a Tesla in California, and it, it comparably it wasn't. Why as don't good. you work for Elon Musk, bro? He so. hacked his own car <laughs> to drive for. You're him. gonna hack Tesla next? He he didn't drive I, here. His car, maybe did. honestly. 
It's realistic. That's why we do these long drives. Why don't you? Why have? Why has? He's not that far from you, I'm sure, I, right? The sky is the limit, honestly. At any day, you could. I mean, we're gonna be at DefCon this year, so it's, if oh, yeah. anybody's there, come come say what's Shout up. We're out gonna be uh, participating we'll be in CTFs and hacking a whole bunch of stuff. Come tap a Tesla in. Dude, included. But why? Hopefully, getting some bug bounties. You you deserve, I think, at this point, one. I think your your message is, you you want to do good shit. Yes, you want to help people. Yes. Why would you? Why have? I feel like this is on another level, bro. Yeah. It's a, and maybe it, it's, my, it's my small brain. I don't know if it, I'm just, by small brain, I mean like I have never delved into this industry or this type of thing. Uh, but that's a wild ass story, bro. And like, I feel like you deserve to know, uh, I mean, Elon Musk deserves to know you. Thanks, man. Say. Thanks. Tap in, Elon. Tap. Hey, yeah. Bill, you're also welcome too. Hey, he's he's local. He's you a little know? closer. Yeah, my dad Bill Bill Gates is yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the real <laughs> Bill. Don't yes. get it confused. Don't get it twisted. All right, hey, where can people find your social media, man? So you can find me on Instagram as Armand the Cyber, and then you can also find my drone page as Armani FPV, and also thegoodhackers.com. This has been a phenomenal episode talking with Armani. The punch, bro. The Jordans. <laughs> Unreal. Anyway, you guys, hit the like button. Hit this, whatever the frick you want to hit. I love you all. I appreciate you so much. We're going to end it here. Take care. Peace.